is John here. Welcome back to JKF Tech. I want to teach you some some issues today. One issue, uh, the issue is uh, how do you know because some Cisco switches are fake. So how do you know which one is fake? So I want to teach you today uh, how to identify fake Cisco switches. Uh, even with because sometimes if you for, if after uh, upgrading the iOS you find that that some area uh, 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 has a, a change color and you when you look at your client you you will see like something like a authentication field to show it shows that the the switch is a fake switch uh, that only happens after you upgraded the iOS because the formal iOS the initial iOS inside this is a fake one so. I want to show you today, you know, how to know fake switch. So look at it here. Look at what I was talking about. You can see that this one cyst here is having some different color. You can see it here. Look at start, green color. Look at uh, mask down here, green color. Only this this one up here is having like orange color. Need to show that this. Uh, switch has a this switch is a fake switch, but this one happens only after the uh, what's it called? Um, uh, happens after you upgraded the switch. So let me show you again. Look at something like you see this authentication failed. You can see this. This to show that this switch is a fake board. Is a fake switch this particular switch look at the model of the switch here and it has a lot of fake this 2960x this is a TDL this non POE switch but not just this model this series has a lot of fake switches both TD FPDL a lot of them have uh, fake switches here so you only identify it also by look at that another fake switch here Look at the back of the face. Another face switch here. You can see. You can see this this uh, this messed up cable cabling at the back. You can look look at it here. You can see it. The cable on the back. You can you, you can see it. You see this cable, and you can see. And the worst part of it that they don't. Uh, do it in front of the switch when you open the switch so you can see that uh, you can see that it is here so that you can know what to do about it they do it at the back at the back of the switch so you have to remove the board from the case so for you to know that uh, this problem it has this uh, issue here you know so that's it is how to know when you see this kind of irregular connection here just know that uh, this is a fake board and there's another way I'm gonna show you again but next time to know fake board when you open it and see this connection at the back just know it's a fake board even before putting iOS on it it's, it's not an easy job but uh, we don't have any other choice than to do that you know so that's a that's how to know fake board this 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 is not a, a good board so let me show you the original board so you know the difference you can see original board Cisco board here there's no irregular connection at the back there's no irregular connection here just scan through the back you can see it's just normal uh, there's no connection irregular connection like the other one you can see there is no irregular connection at the back you can see look at it here you can see everywhere is clear everything is fixed to the board even this one here is fixed to the board this I see here everything is fixed there's no like uh, uh, you know unkept kind of work here so this is a real uh, Cisco board the other one I showed you is a fake one yeah, so that's how you know fake switch and uh, 
but this only you know from here after you have upgraded the ios because when it comes with the clone ios this place is going to still be green color all green color throughout and there's nothing like a uh, authentication field it will show something like this it will show something like this when you upgrade the ios then this thing will appear so thank you and see you on the next video my name is john see you on the next one